What's going on YouTube? Uh, we're back at you. We're just gonna be cleaning up the uh, piston heads and the uh, uh, tops of the cylinders. There's a little bit of carbon buildup. Just gonna clean that up for now. Uh, just gonna use some little bit of PB Blaster and uh, Scotch Bright just to clean it up and uh, yeah, kind of see what we're working with. We'll probably throw a straight edge on the uh, head surface or the, uh, the surface of the block where the head sits. Make sure there ain't no warpage or nothing. So yeah, let's get to it. So I already started a little bit, as you can see. Just sprayed a little bit of PB on there and uh, just kind of lightly roughed it up with a uh, scotch bright. And you can see over here, cleaned up pretty good. It did look worse than this side, so cleaned up pretty good. Um, there is a, still a pretty good crosshatch. You can't really tell, but there is a good crosshatch. So I probably, I don't know if I'm going to rehone it or what, because it's kind of a budget build. So I'm probably just going to... Uh, <clears throat> Do the bearings and rings and maybe pistons and uh, probably call it good as long as this surface is all good and isn't warped or nothing. But it shouldn't be, it should be pretty good. So this is what we're working with. Uh, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and do this side and then I'll show you on the next side how I start from the uh, beginning alrighty guys we're on to the other side um, so what I'm gonna do first is I got my that one's old I got my scotch bright pad I've used it a little bit but it should be fine let's take a little bit of this spray a little bit on each on each piston and then just kind of hit it like that try and get it all over the best you can and then really what I'll do is I'll just take this and I'll just scrub everything top lightly scrub the inside cylinder walls just at the top there though where you can kind of see the carbon build up just to try and get that down a little bit and then I'll go and do uh the top of each piston so yeah we'll do a little uh time lapse for you.
Okay, guys. I didn't do these ones perfect or nothing. Mainly because when I was doing this one, there's some chips in the head. So I'm going to have to replace the pistons anyway. But, uh, yeah, looks a lot better anyway. And if I didn't clean that one up, I probably never would have knew those chips were there, you know. So we got those cleaned up. I'll probably order my rebuild kit within the next couple weeks. So. And we'll do pistons, pistons, rings, and bearings. And uh, call it good for the bottom end. We'll probably just do a stock bottom end build. Because I'm not doing anything serious with the top end. I'm probably just going to go GT40 heads. Um, maybe a, a bigger cam, just slightly bigger, nothing nothing too bad because I still want some low end torque. Um, and then we'll, we're going to do the carb conversion. We're going to throw probably an Edelbr Edelbrock, uh, RPM intake with probably a, uh, Holly 650 double pumper on top. And then, um, might shoot a little bit of nitrous in it if I'm feeling spicy about it but who knows i mean there's really no point because they'll be in a truck but it is what it is i don't know we'll figure it out because i mean that belt it won't be pushing that much horse anyway so if i do want to go fast it would be cool just to be able to flip a switch really quick or something instead of turboing it or dropping a bunch of money on building the actual motor into like a stroker or something but uh yeah, that's kind of the plan. Um, yeah, that'll probably do it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know it was probably pretty short, but uh, it's pretty easy to clean those up. Just a little bit of elbow grease. But, I mean, they're not going to be perfect either. I mostly did it just to see what I got to do to it, making sure my cross hatch pattern is still good and whatnot. And it looks really good. So. Um, I don't think I'm going to have to take it in to get machined. Uh, I do have to check the surface on the block, make sure it's not warped still. So I still have to do that, but, uh, everything look, looks okay. Um, kind of, kind of figured all, I'm going to have to replace all that anyway. So yeah. Appreciate it. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Take it easy. See you on the next one.